My splinter guard is absolute rubbish and this is the secret. Dave here, how are you? I'm going to show you the very, very easy way of calibrating the TSO products parallel guides. Now this is the 50 inch guide that I'm going to use. I'm going to set up my rail, my guide rail for the track saw and do a cut and then we're going to work backwards from there. If you like what I'm doing, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and ring that little bell icon down there to get a notification that I have released another video. Let's get into it. I've already cut both sides, they're parallel, and the end. I'm going to cut this parallel to that. That's pretty easy. Even though my splinter guard is absolute rubbish because it's been chopped up a lot by, you know, being slack. This is pretty cool. Now, to set the guide rail up really well, we put in a lever clamp, flip her over, then we're going to use the GRS16PE, pull this little lever back, slide it on, put the clip on, lock it, and you'll notice on the underside, there's this gap here for it to be able to slide into. It all works really well. Do a little bit of flick. Slide that up. That's got it. Lock it. Going to put a lever clamp over there as well. Now that can't go anywhere. I can do the cut straight away. As always, I do a reverse cut with the track saw at two millimeters deep in the cut. This can't move anywhere. It's all held. I'm going to do a forwards cut. This is 16 millimetre board. I'm going to go 21. I'm going to go slowly. Take that off. Not a bad cut. Now I'm going to put the parallel guide on. This is where it starts to get interesting. This is the right hand parallel guide that I'm going to put on. Use a couple of the six millimeter knobs and we're going to put these two into there. Like so. And so. Self-centering. Now, I'm going to move this stop out of the way and I'm going to put another clamp on here. And this is the secret. Just locking that there. Now I can undo the clamp at this end under here. I'm going to be held over here and over here. This allows me to bring a ruler underneath. It works really well. Most people have got a tape measure. I'll slide that under there until I'm at the cut. Now that is showing that I am right on uh, 1070 to the cut. You can see here that the splinter guard is back just a little bit. So just there, it's back just a little bit. So 1070 is spot on. Now I can, where my screwdriver is, using the three millimeter hex screwdriver, I'm going to back these off. And that one. So this now can move to wherever I want. I'm going to move this up to 1,000, 1,070 millimeters. And looking straight down over the top, lock it. It ain't rocket science to work out the rest of it, is it? Slide that into position, lock it, clamp that one. I move the stop collar and lock it as well. Now that is brilliant, but I'm going to do something even more. You'll be excited about this one. This is the left hand. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the track straight away. I don't need the tape measure here anymore. I can move that. 
like so. Put this into the track. Now I can either do it over this side or I can do it over there. It doesn't really matter at all. Just as long as I tighten that up. Done. There, nice and tight. Back these off. I haven't tightened this up yet. Like so. Drop that up. Bring this along until it's 1070, until I just can't see the line. See, 1070. You can do it imperial as well, it's not going to hurt it, it's just the same. Drop this down, push the stop up, lock it, lift the stop up again, and lock the collar. It can't be easier. <laughs> so I can relax that. And I can relax the one on the other side. And pull it backwards. 1063. Cool. And 1063 over here. That's there. Perfect. Put the stops down. Push it back. Yep, it doesn't really matter whether I do flicky flicky now or not because this guy is looking after the far end. Just as long as it's pushed up to the stops, and it is, and then I can lock this one. Unlock that one. Take that off. And we'll undo this one. There we go. 1063 at that end. And what have we got over here? 1063. How nice is that? Let's do a diagonal. I'm brave. Uh, 14, 11. And this one, 14, 11. That's cool. There we go. Dead easy. Thanks for watching. If you like what I'm doing, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to ring that bell icon down there.